Just over an hour ago, a helicopter crashed on Auckland's waterfront. Our cameras caught the moment of the crash. The squirrel helicopter was helping install a seven-story high metal Christmas tree when one of the helicopter's blades appeared to clip a wire, hurtling the machine to the ground. Miraculously, the pilot survived the crash and was helped but managed to walk away from the scene. Now let's have a look at a slower version of the footage. The helicopter doing a complete 360 revolution. The pilot, though, walking away essentially unharmed. Our reporter Kate Lynch joins us now live to uh, close to the site of the crash. Kate, tell us about the pilot and his condition now. Yes, we understand his name is Mr. Greg Gribble. He comes from a helicopter. He owns a helicopter company called Heliseeker, based down at Ardmore. Our cameraman, who was filming at the time, said that two people actually ran in after the crash and pulled him from the wreckage, and he was carried away and miraculously was managed to be carried away. We've just had an update from the Auckland District Health Board who say that he's currently at the emergency department of Auckland Hospital. He's being assessed and he will be released in a couple of hours' time. One News also managed to speak to him just a few minutes after the crash. He said he was fine and he had no further comment. We've been looking at his company website. Mr. Gribble is a very experienced pilot. He's been doing this for tw over 20 years and he has thousands of hours of flying experience. Now, Kate, there were several others working at the site. Uh, we can see people racing to get out of the way in the footage there. It seems it was very lucky there were no other in injuries this morning. It was amazing. I, I'm being told that there were around 10 people working at the site at the time. Luckily, it was closed off to the public because of this operation. Uh, certainly straight after the crash, people were running away from it. But once they realised what was going on, they ran back to try and help rescue Mr Gribble from the crash. Uh, but most people around here are saying it's lucky that the operation wasn't taking place at lunchtime when there would have been a whole lot more people around. Thank you. That's uh, reporter Kate Lynch there live from Auckland's waterfront. Now, as we heard earlier, the pilot of the helicopter was Greg Gribble. He's a senior pilot with some 20 years' experience and was flying the squirrel helicopter for his family company, Heliseeker, which is based at Ardmore in South Auckland. The company specialises in precision helicopter work. One News has spoken with Mr Gribble this morning. He says he doesn't want to make any comment on the accident at this stage, but has said that he is fine. See ya, yeah. The helicopter was helping build the seven-storey high mast of a telecom Christmas tree this morning. The Widow Island on Auckland's waterfront was to be the new home of the popular attraction. More than 150,000 people visit each year to watch the light display. It was to be linked by fibre optic cables with the new Christmas trees being put up in Wellington and Christchurch for the first time. The operation to put up the tree was nearly over. The plan was for the final step to secure the main mast to take place at 25 to 11, 10.35. But the accident at 10.28 this morning has left those plans up in the air. Only essential rigging personnel were allowed on Te Wero Island for the operation. But uh, as you can see in the pictures before the crash, there were at least a dozen people on the ground within just a few metres of the helicopter. Eyewitnesses to the crash have just spoken to our cameras at the scene. Uh, well, first of all, there was an enormous uh, pop, which was obviously the, blade, the, the blades exploding. Um, and then a, an almighty thump as the helicopter hit the ground. Uh, it was just a massive whack, like a power kind of sound. And, um, and then I just turned around and just seen it drop, but it was already kind of halfway down. So it just crashed and then the, sort of the security got straight to it, pulled him out. To the day's 